Hello everyone and welcome back to part 21 of the Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. So we left off last time just outside the game corner here, but I went and healed up after the episode like I was saying I was going to do. And we're back here on the first floor of the hideout. So we're going to head down to that elevator that we just found the key for last episode. So we got to do this little maze again, which isn't too bad. Um, we go this way. And then we're going to walk down a little bit. Um, oof, which one was it? This one? Yeah, and then we're going to go down again. And then we're going to take this guy, and then this fellow, and then the top one here, and then we're done. Sweet. That was so hard to navigate for me as a kid, I don't know why. And here's the elevator, and now that we have the lift key from that last battle, we can go to the, I think the fourth floor is the one we haven't been to yet, so go check that out. And yeah, we're in the basement fourth floor. Wait, have we been here? No, there's a Pokeball, so that means we haven't been here, I guess. We found a Calcio. Not bad, not bad. Um, I believe that raises, like, uh, speed. Could be wrong. Or special attack. Um, wait, is this the wrong floor? Oh, we gotta battle these guys, I guess. Or I could be totally wrong. I took the wrong floor. I don't know. We'll check it, though. Team Rocket Drum would like to battle. He's gonna throw on Ekans. Okay. Our Pikachu might be able to hold up. Oh, no, Intimidate. Um... I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, we're supposed to Butterfree anyway, just because we know Butterfree can take out the trash like nobody's business around here. <laughs> and let's see if he gets a good hit on us. Glare. Oh, it missed. That would have paralyzed us if it hit. So confusion. Let's try to knock this guy out since we know what strategy is. This is gonna be Glare and Wrap, I believe. That's what they do. Or they could bite. I forget. Oh, he does get us with Glare though in the end. So we are gonna be paralyzed. Ugh. So hopefully he doesn't start spamming bites. He's gonna use Leer though. Okay. Our defense has fallen a bit. Butterfree, it breaks the paralysis though and hits with the confusion. Nice. Nice. And what is the next book? Oh, Pikachu going to level 26. Nice. Pikachu trying with Thunderbolt. Yo! Okay, maybe I should have waited for teaching a shockwave, huh? But we'll get rid of um uh, I don't know. Um we'll get rid of Slam. Thunderbolt's really nice to have. I'm, I just wish we didn't waste the uh, Shockwave now. Pikachu learned Thunderbolt. Sweet. Better for getting a little bit of XP as well. Gonna use Sand Shrew. So we are gonna switch and we're gonna use Ivysaur. I mean, um, we'll use Gyarados. Gyarados is a little bit behind there. He's the only one that not level 25 or 26, so. So he should, yeah, ground type is fairly weak to water. So we're hoping here that Gyarados can just one shot with the water pulse. Please, buddy. Come on. And. Yes, good boy. Atta boy. Taking that Sancho out like nobody's business. And he'll throw out an Arbok last. Um. Ah, see, the thing is, we're paralyzed here. I'll do it. We'll try it. Worst case scenario, I'll just throw a Nidoking King and use Dig. Because that's super effective against Poison. So yeah, you don't need a Psychic type against Poison, if you guys didn't know already, you can use Ground type, like Earthquake and all that, but some like, uh, can't be hit by Ground type moves. I think Coughing can't, but I, I could be wrong. I know at some point they get Levitate ability, and they can't be hurt by uh, uh, Earthquake anymore. So it was pretty broken in Generation 1 just to Earthquake everything, because there was no Levitate ability. <laughs> so, and we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna be able to take it out in two Confusions, but it keeps hitting us with Poison Stings. Luckily we can't get Poison though, because we're already paralyzed. And we don't get stuck by Paralysis again, and we take it out in just two shots. Nice! Bye bye, Arbok. And Butterfree's now level 27. Hey! Player defeated, Team Rocket Grunt. And we got 736 for winning. So let's switch around and Gyarados up front here. Uh, we gotta try out Thunder uh, Thunderbolt, I mean, at some point as well. I know you! You ruined our plans at, plant at Mount Moon! <laughs> So apparently this guy was Mount Moon. I don't know if... I don't remember him. They don't have names, so... Just throw out Sand Troop. So good call on that switch. Nice. Going to be able to easily take it out with a... I hope he's going to intimidate first. We're easily going to be able to take out the Sand Shrew here. Uh, let's see if we can move Water Pulse up here. There we go. And we're going to smack him down with just one of these, I hope. Pretty close on level, so I don't know. And yeah, no problem. Even though he's a bulky little armadillo, he's going to take it. Gyarados is now level 25, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Decent, uh, I think his special attack and HP is about it. Hey, he's got good speed, too. Dragon Rage, not bad. It's not great, but it does 40 damage, period. So we'll get rid of Splash with that. 
And that's about it for his good moves, I guess. It's not really a good move, like I said, it only does 40 damage, so. It's only good for, like, trying to catch a Pokemon. And Ekans is gonna come on out. Um. Sheesh. Uh. We'll keep Gyarados in. I don't know how good Gyarados will do against it, but we'll try. And we'll actually try out. Uh, oh, he's gonna intimidate us. Crap. Um, we'll use a Water Pulse again then. And try to see how much that does. Hopefully, it does more than a quarter. And it does about half. Nice. Glare. Oh, he's gonna paralyze us. Can't believe we have to do another trip to the Pokemon Center after this. That's crazy. Um, try to get a Water Pulse again though. Hopefully, we'll break through paralysis. But you know. Oh, he does. Sweet. There you go, Gyarados. Nice. We get a little bit of XP here, thankfully, too. 304 XP. Gonna use Sand Slash. Oh, so the Evolve form of Sand is here. So yeah, hopefully we can break through this paralysis yet again. Oh, Sand Attack and Paralyze. This is not gonna go good for us, is it? Use Water Pulse, though, and it's gonna hit. Hopefully it's not bulkier than his little guy. His little, uh, pre-evolution, and he is. Um, we use Bite this time. Oh, we could have used Dragon Rage, actually. <laughs> Shut that off, but it's fine. And yeah, we don't get stopped by Paralysis at all, and we get 802. I think that's the most XP we've gotten this whole uh, playthrough just now. And the door opens. Oh, and Giovanni is right there, so we did go the right way. Let's see if I have any medical supplies on me I can use. Uh, we have one. Par we have two Paralyzed. Oh, sweet. So we're good. Um, I don't think we need to heal anyone though. I'm not sure what he leads with. I might throw out Needle King first just to be safe. Um, but again, I'm not too sure here. So. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're going to put Nitto King up front is what I wanted to do. Because he, I think he mostly has ground type and normal type anyway. So let's go ahead and meet up with this guy. So I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. And yeah, so now we've formally met... The team leader, Giovanni. Boss Giovanni, I should say, I guess. And he's gonna throw Onyx first, so okay. And Nido King's gonna make short work of this again with double kick. One. Oh, whoa, never mind. He's a little bulkier than I thought. It's super effective, but this guy's just bulky, it seems. He's gonna use Harden to double down on that bulk as well. So, kind of eh. I'm gonna try to do another double kick and see what that gets us, though. Oh, it's barely doing anything now. Okay. What's he gonna do? Rage? Oh no! He does more damage. No, nope, never mind. Double kick. Should be able to finish it off now, though. Hit one time. So we should have left with uh, Venusaur. We could have Gyarados up front, actually, too. So send out Rhyhorn out next. So we're gonna actually throw out our Gyarados. Show him what we've got, you know? Don't want uh, <laughs> Nido King to get all the rewards here. We actually could have thrown in uh, Ivysaur, and he might have evolved, but I don't know. I really say I forgot he only had three Pokemon here. I'm thinking of his uh, later battle. But he has more. He has like five, I think, or something later on. But Water Pulse should take it out. We got a crit. Nice. Way to go, Gyarados. Really putting in work here. Flyhorn is down. 693. Not enough to level up. Kangaskhan's coming out. We're going to switch back to Nido King just because we know Kangaskhan is a bulky normal type. And Nido King has just the remedy for that, which is double kick. <laughs> so let's do this. Um, oh, we're at the same level, too. Nice. Double kick. One for you and one for your baby. Oh, and it's not doing much damage. Like I said, this is a bulky, bulky Pokemon. And it's going to start using Tail Whip on us to lower our defense. But I don't think we're bulky to begin with anyway. So they're just going to get more damage onto us. And it looks like it's going to take at least two more double kicks unless we get knocked out. Mega Punch. Oh, no. But we're part poison, so hopefully we resist it. And yeah, we do. And they get poison. So this next double kick will definitely take her out. Nice. Yep. And double kick for the win. Nice, nice, nice. Not too bad if you're here. Prepare it a little bit. Uh, it can be a hassle if you don't have like the right moves, I guess, and the raw strength to just overcome it. But now Nido King is now level 30. Sweet. Player defeated, Boss Giovanni. What? This can't be. And we get 2,900 Poké Dollars for winning. Not, not... Not bad. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. And he leaves something behind here. It is the Stilfscope. So yes, that is all we needed from this encounter. 
So we're going to use our Nido King's ability to dig and get ourselves out of this uh, area. And just under 10 minutes too. Not bad at all. And we're going to rush to the Pokemon Center to heal up our allies here. Just because they deserve a nice little, you know, little tender love and care after that battle. Just if you did a Team Rocket boss, you know, not just an easy feat. And now we're going to safely head back to, um, I think we should go to Lavender Town first, but we do have a gym here we could possibly do. Um, I might do that. Oh, actually, uh, let's, we can go through the barricade now, I believe. And I don't think Snorlax is not, uh, stopping us from getting our, um, uh, next HM, is he? No, we just need to go get a cut. I forgot we need a cut for this, so. Come down here. Oh, I should have went up. I don't know why I took the long way around. But we're gonna pick up Bellsprout and get cut, and you'll see why in a minute. It'll really help us out. And yeah, we might go ahead and take on Erica here. That's the talent's gym leader. She is a grass type Pokemon. Trainer! So if you guys have a flying type or a um, fire type, you're really good against her. We're gonna put Ivysaur away for now, just for now. I know I was like, oh, you don't get rid of your starter Pokemon, but it won't be long. We're gonna come right back for him. Actually, we're not. We're gonna let him sit in here for the gym, because yeah, he's not gonna be useful at all. And hopefully we get um, Nidoking and Pidgeotto. They're gonna be our MVPs for this upcoming gym. Excuse me. Burps a little bit again. <laughs> And here we go. Oh, wait, is that a double battle? It probably is. Um, I want to go up here, though. Because, yeah, and this house is where you get HM. I think it's... Is it 03? Oh, dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And HM02. HM and it contains fly. It's a wonderfully convenient move. Please, put it to good use. And we're going to turn inside the Pidgeotto right now. And that will help him have a better move. The only bad thing about Fly, it is a two-turn, like, build-up move. But that's really about it. Uh, it's pretty strong. Pidgeotto wants to learn Fly. Should have moved be deleted with Fly. Yes. And we will get rid of Sand Attack. Oh, we could have got rid of Tackle, I guess. Sand Attack's not bad to have. It lowers accuracy, so... It can be helpful. And I don't know if we can... Can we use Fly just yet? Let me see. Because I know Lieutenant Surge is about Fly, but, like, I don't know if he was just, like, just saying words, you know? So we're going to try to Fly now and see where we can go. And we can, nice. So actually, I think what we're gonna do is take on Erica real quick. Uh, let's put Pidgeotto up front. And put, oh, I can't use Dig here, okay. Um, let's get all these guys in order, like how I like to get them. Gyarados is kind of slacking up there, but it's okay, he's powerful. And we're gonna head back to, uh, oh, I could have just flown back to the city, I guess, but. We can just ride our bike. Oh, it's a double battle. Okay. Sometimes the intensity of our love scares me. Okay. I hope it's a double battle. And yes, it is. Young couple Leah and Jed. Okay, Leah and Jed sent out Rapidash and Ninetales. Yo, okay. Coming out pretty hot with those, not gonna lie. Um, Intimidate's gonna cut their attack, which helps a little bit, because that Rapidash we know is a physical attacker. It should be. Most Rapidashes are. Uh, we're gonna use Fly though on Ninetales and Water Pulse on Rapidash. Go ahead and divide and conquer on these guys since they're fully evolved Pokemon. Should get some decent XP. Sadly, it's gonna be shared, so they won't get a ton of it, but it's okay. Pidgeotto defense fell, and so did Gyarados. Oh yeah, because we're in a double battle. Um, oh, they're they're covered in a veil, so they might uh, not be able to be. I think it's. I didn't see which one it was, but they might not be able to. Uh, they might stand up better, I mean, to a physical attack. Sorry about that. I was trying to think of words in my brain. Um, and Ninetales missed, of course, because we are flying, and we use fly does nothing. Dang. Um, so, Pidgeotto, you go ahead and use Quick Attack, actually, and then Gyarados will use... Oh, yeah, because they're Veiled. That's why it's not doing much damage. Dang. But Rapidash is gone, which is nice. 595 is it's a good amount. Uh, Pidgeotto leveled up, so that's not bad. Wing attack! Yo! Yes! That's really good. I've been waiting for that this whole time. We're gonna get rid of Gust for that. So sweet. Pidgeotto's got two good moves just back to back. Thank god. She was kind of slacking there. I was kind of scared of how the gym was gonna go, but now I'm not. Gyarados is level 26 now. Sweet. Gyarados uses Water Pulse. Hopefully it's a special move. It should do more damage. Eh, I guess not. Maybe they just take less damage in general. I don't know. 
Not very effective. Oh, uh, Gyarados is always getting burned by Ember, too. Dang, and that cuts our attack in half, I believe, or it does a little bit of, uh... We're not doing as much as we would like to do, basically. Gyarados is the fastest one on the field, really? I thought Pidgeotto was the fastest, but, you know, it's fine. And we take down Ninetales, no problem. And Pidgeotto and Gyarados level up. Nice. Oh, but Jed looks cool, even in loss. And we get 1,624 Poké Dollars. Nice. And let's go ahead and cut this tree. I guess we could fly now, since we gotta go to the Pokemon Center before we go into Erika. But luckily, we're more, um, you know, in a better situation spot for the uh, upcoming battle, since we know Wing Attack. Because doing it with just fly would... It would take quite a while. Uh, it'd be easy, but, you know, just... It would take a while. But Wing Attack is really good, especially for Erika's gym. So we should be able to just sweep her gym. No problem now. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Good to see you again. Thank you. And yeah, let's go ahead and before this video is over, we're going to head to the gym and maybe do a couple battles in there. Uh, we do need Cut, though, so remember to bring a HM user with you. I'm not going to teach Cut to Bulbasaur. That's why I have Bellsprout with me instead of Bulbasaur. And like I said, Bulbasaur would not be useful. I mean, Ivysaur wouldn't be useful in this gym at all. And let's go up here. Sweet. And it shouldn't be that hard to deal with this gym. I'm going to go up behind them just so like it's not you know too long between battles. And here we go. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Okay. Um, oh, all right. I'm not going to question your logic any further. Last K would like to battle, and she's going to throw out Bellsprout. Nice. And Wing Attack should be able to... Let me actually move this up here. There we go. Wing Attack should be able to 1K it. It's really strong. Stab flying type move. And yeah. Again, if you had Fire, it'd be really good. Like Charmander, your Charmeleon, or even Charizard at this point. Uh, we're not going to switch, though. Like I said, Pidgeotto's going to go and just tear down this gym bit by bit. We're not going to be like in the uh, anime where <laughs> Ash's Charmeleon burned down this gym, right? <laughs> uh, Weeping Bell fainted. Got a good amount of XP, so nice. Pidgeotto's probably going to be our highest level Pokemon after this gym. Not going to lie. Um, wouldn't be surprised at all. And we're going to go up to this lady first. I was hoping the other one would get us, but it's fine. She doesn't get us now, she'll get us next time. And Beauty Bridget would like to battle. She's gonna throw out Oddish first. Nice. So she might have the whole uh, Oddish line with her. Which is cool. Gonna get some uh, Pokedex pages filled up. We do need to catch some more Pokemon though. Uh, because we, I think we've unlocked a lot of encounters that have just kind of brushed past. So 351 XP. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Beauty Bridget's gonna use Bellsprout. Uh, will Cody change Pokemon? No, I will not. Bellsprout's coming on out just to get knocked down by a wing attack. Nice. Way to go, Pidgeotto. You rock, girl. You rock. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Another Oddish. Okay, I guess she doesn't have the evolution line like I was hoping. Uh, using wing attack yet again for another flawless victory. Just like that, Oddish is down. <laughs> nice. And Beauty Bridget is setting out another Bell Sprout. Okay, so she had a Bell Sprout, Oddish, Oddish, Bell Sprout, I guess, something like that. And that's it. We are done with this trainer. I mean, um, I actually might go back to Pokemon Tower after this battle because I just thought of a uh, there is a Pokemon I want to catch, and while we're getting XP, I would like to train it up. So yeah, let me go ahead and leave the gym here, and we'll fly back to Lavender Town. Um, come on. Pidgeotto, use fly. Take me to Lavender Town, right? Yeah. The Pokemon Tower. Ooh. <laughs> and we'll heal up real quick. And that might be the end of the episode. We might go into the Pokemon Tower again. Um, but I hate to just leave a gym like that midway through. But like I said, there's a Pokemon I want to catch um, in Lavender Tower. And I'd rather him get XP or them get XP while we are in the gym so let me go ahead and just go inside before we end the video inside pokemon tower here I'm gonna go up to the first level come on slow walk slow walk <laughs> and yeah so you guys it's been me the pokemon cowboy with you guys here today and remember to leave a like comment and subscribe share around to your friends if you enjoyed this video and think they would like it as well again pokemon cowboy signing off goodbye guys have a good one